If you are thinking about bringing home a bulldog to join your family, watch this video first. Bulldogs are amazing dogs and they have a lot of great attributes. However, I will say that they are not for everybody. Hey friends, this is Kate from anybulldog.com and I am going to give you three questions to ask yourself before you bring home a bulldog. Now, number one, do you want a dog to go on hikes and long walks with you? If you are looking for a dog to be an active companion, I'm going to say that a bulldog is not for you. Bulldogs tire out very, very easily. And in fact, bulldogs are known just to sit down in the middle of a walk if they're tired and just not move anymore and you might be stuck carrying a bulldog home. This has only happened to us once with our bulldog Daisy and we kind of had to drag her back on home and it was fine but they're kind of stubborn and when they get tired they're tired and they sit down. Now they get tired because they are a brachycephalic breed. I'm sure I butchered that word but their face is all you know smushed up. It's their signature look that squishy face that we all know and love, but it also makes it very hard for them to breathe and very hard for them to control their body temperature. So they simply cannot walk or hike for long extended periods of time. And they also often don't know their limits. So they'll push themselves and they're pushed themselves until they've put themselves in a dangerous situation. So if you want an active dog, someone to go on jogs with you, someone to take on hikes with you, I'm gonna say the bulldog is probably not it. Now the second question that you wanna ask yourself is, am I home? Bulldogs suffer from separation anxiety and it causes a lot of stress for them to be left alone in a house all day by themselves. So if you work long hours, you're gone eight to five and this isn't, if if your job isn't a job where you could take a dog with you, if you don't want to commit to like a doggy daycare or having someone to come check on your dog for you, the bulldog also probably isn't for you. They really, bulldogs really thrive in the presence of their family. They are happiest when they are around their people and in fact our bulldog Daisy is a velcro dog and will follow me everywhere I go but if you aren't home for most of the day your bulldog is going to stress out and when they show signs of separation anxiety they can either become destructive and ruin furniture or they um, have incontinence and it just their stress can manifest itself in many different ways but usually you know it's not a positive thing for you or your bulldog. Now, you can crate train, which helps, but you also don't wanna leave your bulldog in a crate for hours and hours on end. We leave Daisy for three hours tops at a time, but I am home most of the day, so she doesn't need to be in a kennel all day. She can stretch out, she can move around, get up and do the things that she wants. So if you aren't home most of the day and you can't take your bulldog with you to the places that you need to go for hours, then again, a bulldog may not be the best breed for you. Now, the third question you wanna ask yourself is, am I really committed to taking care of a bulldog? Bulldogs, I'd say, are a high maintenance breed. They are totally cuddly and lovable and all the things. However, they do need some extra help because of their body and the way that it is shaped. They simply cannot take care of themselves like other breeds can. Um, Daisy cannot turn around and clean her bum. She can clean other parts of her body, but they also have a lot of health needs and you will need to do extra grooming around their face to make sure that they don't grow any yeast and bacteria in all of their folds that is a daily thing that you will need to do for more information on that you can check out my video how to groom a bulldog 
and I go top to bottom on how to clean your bulldog. And I do that at least twice a week on top of some daily things like cleaning out her ears, cleaning out the tear stains. And so it's a commitment. It really is a commitment to take care of a bulldog. Any dog is a commitment, but we had greyhounds growing up and the, the grooming was fairly simple and most dogs are going to have be able to groom themselves better and won't need the constant cleaning around their face. So those are three questions to ask yourself. One, do I need a dog to be active with me? Two, am I home often enough? And three, am I ready for this commitment to be taking care of a dog? Bulldogs are so lovable and so so cuddly and all they really want is a companion. So if you are looking for a companion dog to keep you company, to love on you, to cuddle with you, then the bulldog is totally it. They make great family dogs and love children as well as long as they have been socialized. So think about those three questions and if you decide to go for a bulldog, welcome to the bulldog family. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.